We have to change the wiper pivots on a Postal LLV. The one that's right in front of the driver is not hard at all. You can reach right up underneath here and you can get to just about everything. But the one on the other side is very difficult. I'm not going to fool you. It's hard, it's awkward, but it can be done. Here's how to do it. You've got to first take off the computer cover. After you get the screws out, just take this panel off. It's going to be in your way, but put it down below. Next thing you got to do is take the computer out. Two number 10s on the front side, two number 10s on the back side. Take the computer out, set it aside. To get to this wiper pivot, we're going to have to move this black air duct. First thing to do is there's six rivets holding it straight up and down, so we'll cut them off. Punch those rivets out. Take the auxiliary fan on. Take the auxiliary fan off. And you also have to take part of your heater box. So this part here has to slide up into the ductwork. These are little spring-loaded keepers that hold them off. that back like that. Once you got this duct work loose, just pull it down and pull it out of your way. And if you look in here you can see the pivot. That's the pivot that we've got to change. First thing we're gonna do is get that clip off. Here's a little screwdriver. A lot of times it'll go flying like that, so you're going to have to find it and put it back on. If you reach up under here, you can get that arm off of it. Okay. That clip is just on the end of that stud. You're, it's like that back there, so you're kind of working by just by feel. You stick your little screwdriver in there and you get your clip off. Okay, what we've got right now is this pivot. This is the new pivot going through the, the wall out there and there's one little bolt that goes right through here with the nut. And if you look down there you can see that nut. That's what we've got to take out. Okay, if you get someone out there helping you, get a number nine wrench and then have them turn it and you just hold the nut. Okay, if that nut falls, you'll have to find it because it's got to be reused. Now at this point, the pivot's ready to come out. And there's the bad pivot. There's the hole this pivot has got to go through. Now your new pivots, the new pivots, the diameter is going to be too big. It won't fit through that hole. Of course, we're coming through this way. So just take your drill like this. I use one of these type drill bits because it makes it very easy. 
you got to just enlarge that hole to the next size. Now that pivot will go all the way through, so from the inside it will stick out now. Now you take the new pivot, stick it out through that hole. Now line it up, now from the outside they'll stick that bolt through that hole. Okay, I'm going to stick my hand down there so that I can put this nut on that bolt but I'm going to block your view, you won't be able to see it. But this nut has to go in there, that holds the pivot in place. You just go back the same way, put a number 9 on that nut and have someone from the outside turn it. Tighten it down. Now we have to get this arm back on it. Now what I was doing back there, there's a a rod that travels across here that hooks this pivot to that pivot. And this is what I was going on. This pivot sticks over there like that. So that little clip goes right on there. Okay, we've got the arm back on there. Now we've got to get our little clip on there. You can see where that clip has got to go. But I'm going to have to stick both hands down there and block your beauty. Now you can see I've got that clip. I've got the arm back on the stud and a little clip on there. You have to have that on there right. If you don't get that on there right, first time you go operating the wipers, this thing will go flying out of there. Now once you get the wiper fit, pivot back in there, now you just need to put your air duct work back up in place. It goes up in place. Put your rivets back on. Your vent down there, put your auxiliary fan back on, your vents up here, and you should be all done. Okay, it's time to put the computer in. Plug in your connectors. Then we need to put our computer cover back on it. Now we install little washers. And we install the new nut. We install a new little rubber. Spacer deal for the uh, washer arm. Okay, now we've got we've changed actually both of these pivots. We're going to reset the wipers. The wipers' first movement should be up, and then back down, up, down. So you need to set these so that when you turn the wiper switch off, sometimes the first movement is down. That's wrong. So we take these off and turn the wipers on until they're working right and then we install our arms. Cycle your wiper switch so that it makes a complete cycle and then you set your wiper arms. Here's the two wiper pivots that we took out. Now I want to show you this here. They're identical except for this stud. This one is much longer than this one. This is the driver side. The reason is there's two arms that have to stick onto that. This is the one on the passenger side. Now the part number for the long one is 81697030. The part number for the short one is 8169702 I can't believe I let you talk me into this